Hi folks and welcome to Bearded Beatles Songs Day 150. Thank you all for joining me for this wonderful milestone in our six month journey across the universe of the Beatles catalogue. And no, that's not a hint at today's song. You'll remember that we basically began our trip with that song all the way back on March 1st, or Bearded Beatles Songs Day 2. Instead, today's song is one that comes from George and follows on from his experimentations with the sitar on Norwegian wood. Uh, which incidentally has been cited as the nexus of what would become the genre known as raga rock. Anyway, at the suggestion of his sitar teacher uh, and eventually long life friend Ravi Shankar, George would subsequently delve deeper into uh, Indian classical music and spiritualism, uh, but use this song as a way to showcase both the sitar and the handheld dual drums known as tabla, uh, and to bring the idea of a fusion of Indian classical music and modern Western music even further to the fore. If Norwegian would introduce the sitar into rock music, and if I needed someone was a reflection of an Indian influenced melody coupled with the idea of droning tones, this song brought everything into focus by combining the melodic influences with the instrumentation and orchestration, all played by Indian musicians, that George brought into Abbey Road to ensure the authenticity of the song's backbone. George had this to say about it, quote, I wrote it on the sitar because the sitar sounded so nice and my interest was getting deeper all the time. I wanted to write a tune that was specifically for the sitar. Also, it had a tabla part, uh, and that was the first time we used a tabla player. Now, apart from George and the players from the Asian music circle he had hired, uh, Paul provided some backing vocals, and Ringo added some tambourine, but John was not involved as a performer on the track at all. Now, I obviously do not have a sitar, nor the technique to play one, so here is my interpretation of the third song to be recorded for Revolver, and as George was prone to do, written in duality as both a love song to his new wife Paddy Boyd, while simultaneously touching on the deeper philosophical concepts of Eastern religions, it is love to you. But not like that.
An interpretation, if you will, of uh, an Indian classical influenced Beatles song. Hope you enjoyed that. I rather did. Uh, that might make it into um, into one of my set lists here or there. But um, anyway, thank you for joining me for day 150. I shall see you as we plug on tomorrow with yet more. Until then, take care.